All right, mud lovers, how you doing? Oh, with Adam. Hello again. And you know what? He's changed his blooming YouTube name again. So all those times when I've referenced you in the past, ignore all that because your new YouTube name is the Victorian Mudlark. The Victorian Mudlark. What did you change it for? <laughs> well, I'm the Victorian Mudlark. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, don't argue with that. <laughs> you look like a little Victorian yeah. scrot. <laughs> Cool, all right, we're gonna go to a new location today and hopefully get some more. Luck in the muck, let's do it. Straight out of there, no messing. See, Adam's light and nimble, so he can pretty much float on water. I've got my mudders on today, they'll stop me from sinking in the mud. So I've got my new contraption today because we'll be uh, walking in this creek and hopefully getting a few finds from the centre. If I see something I can just grab it with this hook and it's actually an old Thames stevedore hook which is really handy so let me demonstrate on land and see if it works. If you find a bottle you can sort of poke it around a bit and then get the end like that and then hook it up and bring it up. Oh, a little patch here. I'm pretty sure Adam's already looked at this, but looks like there might be a ginger beer. Might be just a piece of one. Oh, broken. Leave that to fool the next mudlarker. Alex, yep. time to call this. <laughs> We're both knackered for some reason. I don't know if it's like something in the moon and the stars or something, but yeah, exhausting. I'm sweating already. Yes. Rain later. Oh, is it rain later? Don't oh. play now. <laughs> well, here comes the Easter bunny with his little Easter basket. Oh, look, it's not even Easter, is it? I love the bow. The bow. The bow. The little bow on it really, really sets it off. You'll get muddy soon. Be worshipped by the mud gods. <laughs> I think I've got a nice blue ink. Oh, that's nice. It's a beauty there. Yeah, it does look like it's pale blue, doesn't it? And then this ointment. Oh, you know what that is? It's a sign of ointment, isn't it? Uh, yeah, but it's um, oh yeah, Singleton. I know I'm reading it, but um, what does it say there? Holders. Basically, this is an eye ointment, right? So you'd uh, you'd order this from the chemist, yeah. and it would come with a little film, clear film on the top, and then you'd have a very small amount of ointment that you'd use if you had a uh, trouble with the eyes. That is a lovely little fire, man. Really cool, because it looks like it should be a top to something, doesn't it? But no, this is the entire thing. I thought it was a lid at first. Yeah, I bet you did. Yeah, Singleton's ointment. I'm not sure that the second word is. Oh, golden. Golden something. Ointment. I'm not sure what that third word is, but yeah, it's a puck of fine. Well done. God, oh, but you're well Into charged. the Easter basket. Into goes. the Easter basket. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Alex has turned up, hasn't he? Fantastic news. Yeah, I, I think it's because he heard there might be a McDonald's on the cars later. <laughs> so he dragged himself out of bed. <laughs> I just found this little bowl here, look, it's quite cool. I wouldn't say it's anything too amazing, but it's got some nice crazing on it, if I can get the other way around. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? All that lovely crazing. I think I'll take that. It's complete. And I think it's, I, just enjoy, I, just, I just love the crazing on it, really. Simple as. It's empty if it's uh, muddy soup. <laughs> A little mixing bowl or something, yeah, I'll take that. Oh. 
Well, Adam's just called me over. Let's get, it's got a little interesting find. Let's go and take a look. What you got there, Easter Bunny? Oh, look, there's like a coin. Oh, I just found a. That's a nice little button. It's unusual, isn't it? Sorry, mate. I took the uh, took the shine off you a sec there. So I saw this. Oh. So if it's complete or not, I don't know. But it looks look at like that. That's pretty good. It's like the end. squelch. Oh, the end's come off. Oh, it's right, oh. like the end's there. Oh, look. look at that. The end's there. Oh my god, it is. You can glue that back. Look at oh, that. that's oh, nice. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh wow, nice little um, maker's mark there. Joseph nice. Bourne and co. Simon Bourne. <laughs> Didn't we find a smaller one last time? Possibly, yeah. Oh, there's a go. nice big master ink. Oh, you got a few other things in your little Ooh. Easter basket yeah. as well. I found this and I don't exactly know what it is. It's oh. a nice um, yeah. bottle. Yeah, I'm not sure on that. Maybe like fruit juice or something yeah. like that. Uh, lovely R White. That's a beaut. That's a, a lovely stopper. bottle. Yeah, nice one. You're doing well. You are like always half a mile ahead of me though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take all that home, all the bits, and glue it back together. Yeah, nice one. That would be nice really good. Yeah, yeah, wicked. Well done, mate. Well, I found a little bottle. Not sure what it is just yet, but it could be it could be a Jay's fluid. See that one there? Or it could be... Oh, look. Oh, oh lots to be taken. Looks like you're going home early, Simon. <laughs> Oh, it's got on top of it, look. Poison. See that there on the top? Poison. Yeah. And then not to be taken. Nice little clear one. Lovely jabbly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> got that on camera. <laughs> Found a few of these before. Oh, it's got a little chip out of the top, but that's all right. I might take that. Repair that if I need to. Well, interesting little fire just there. Look, can you see that? <laughs> right in the middle. It's like a little hammer. Yeah, it might be a little hammer. How bizarre. Oh, it's got a little maker's mark in it as well. I think so. There's a little V or something. See that? A little X on that side or something. That's strange. Now yeah, it makes a change for a bottle. Don't always find bottles, you know. There's some other gorgeous little finds to be had. So, uh, yeah, this is one of them. <laughs> That's really cool. Never found anything like that before. Uh, who wants a bottle? 50? 10? 15? Sold! Poof! <laughs> now if I was a West Ham fan, I'm not. <laughs> That'd be good for a West Ham fan though, wouldn't it? A little hammer. Actually, it might actually be... That feels like it's bone. Yeah, it is. It is bone. It's a bone... Bone top. Oh, intriguing. And that's bone as well. That's strange. That's really cool. Might have to take it to the uh, might do a research on that. Yeah, definitely a maker's mark or something on there, look. A little V perhaps. Or a Y. Oh How amazing. I love it. Stick around because I'll be asking the good folk at Detectival, the biggest metal detecting rally in the UK, what they think this is. But first... Well, just plucked this out of the gloop and uh, gave a quick scratch. I thought maybe, maybe it's got some writing on. Not normally, they, these ones normally don't have any writing on, but this one does. In fact, oh yeah, cool. I'm trying to do this one-handed, but so bear with me. Jay Sino's Evanescence. Oh, something else there. Fruit. Oh yeah, I've seen these ones before. They're cool. 
for each salt. Yeah, nice. Shame the top's broken, but yeah, I might leave that for another time. Try and keep the load down a bit. I'm sure we'll find something better or maybe more complete, but I do like that. What is it? Well, I'm risking the mud, I'm coming over. Adam's going to cross the creek of doom. <laughs> Just keep moving as quick as you can. Go on. Oh, I made it, I made it. Oh. Let's take a look at this bottle you found. Well, technically this should be yours because you wanted to come over here and if it weren't for you, I wouldn't have found it. But um, it looks to me, look, it's got embossing on there. And it says, Oh, it's the hair restorer. That's cool. Lock, lockiers. Sulfur uh, something. Sulfuric. Oh, sulfur hair restorer. Is it aqua? Yeah, I think so. There you go, add that, put hairs on your chest. <laughs> this hair restorer promised to turn grey hairs black. But after some interrogation by the health board, it was discovered that higher levels of lead were present in the product. A bit dodgy. Oh, look at that. It's a nice colour, isn't it? Oh, look at that. Best bottle of the day so far. For me, anyway. Adam's doing alright. Anyway, let's get some more luck in the muck. Well, Adam's just said, quick, quick, grab your stick and come over because he's found something cool. Let's run over there and see what he's found. Don't fall over first. <laughs> I say come quick, but I'm not very quick. <laughs> not in these conditions. I'm moving as fast as I can though, bro. Oh, best find of the day, eh? Is it a flagon? Oh, wow, my gosh. Oh, flipping it, man. Oh, you lucky, that. lucky chap. Oh that is God. a beaut, man. Well done! Really nice. Gonna go get a wash. Oh, superb! Oh, that's, that's awesome. Yeah, easy find of the day. Oh, man! That's a beauty! Wow! Excellent. What'd you say? Lovely, yeah. <laughs> oh, he's stuck. Don't pull me in. <laughs> you know why? You know what you do so well? You're really lucky at man. Oh yeah, you're a mud lover. <laughs> there we go. Available from the Etsy store. Go and check it out. Well, there's a lovely other load of, load of goodies on there. Oh, now I'm stuck. Ooh. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, we find quite a lot of these sorts of bottles. I won't film them all. But I'll film this one. <laughs> Yeah, just a plain little chemist. Nice uh, barnacles on it though, I might leave them on there. Maybe put a bit of varnish on. Be a little shipwreck bottle. Oh no! Disaster! My mother's are broke. Obviously punishing too much. Oh. Oh, that's a pain. I can still carry on going, still got one good foot and another good flap. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, it's coming towards the end there anyway, but hopefully I can get back to civilization. Watch this space, I'm sure I will do. Otherwise, uh, you won't be watching this video. <laughs> well, just found this little ink well, it's really nice. I think it's got a nice shade of blue to it as well, but more interesting than that is the sides are slightly tapered inwards as it goes up to the top. Quite a rare little beast, I reckon. Yeah, nice, nice color. Shame about the little um, chip in the neck there, but there we go. Still, still, uh, still a lovely little find. Rare for me as well. I don't know how rare they are, but I love it anyway. Oh, it's a cute little bottle. Oh, it's just complete. A little penny perfume. I've got a good little thing to do with these. A little upcycle project. I've done it in the past, but I've done it for a while. I've actually put it in resin and uh, make it look like it's been dropped in the uh, in the river. 
That's some really cool sort of ink. Resin, coloured resin coming out of it. Stick around for the clean up and I'll try and do that. Well, I've come to Detective Hall and I'm going to ask a few people here at this metal detecting rally, the so-called experts, amateur historians, what they think that little carved hammer looking thing is. Let's ask some people. So what I think no. it is, is no. one of those little... <laughs> and what would you call one of those? It's a doctor's, that's the official term. A doctor's little knee hammer. <laughs> Me hammer, yes. There we go. Go on, eat each other. <laughs> so, I mean, the wonderful LP10. Lots of lovely goodies looking around. There's Chris behind me. And also Helen, and we're going to ask Helen she thinks of the mystery Thames find. I wonder what you were doing there, and you were throwing uh, yeah, that in a pouch in front dirty of you. Lady. Can I give you back your digging yes, tool that you lent you. me? Thank you very much. <laughs> so there we go. So what I have think? seen it earlier, and I think that it's a tool for working with some kind of material. So whatever's missing on that end, because that feels like it fits really nicely in there. So I think that it would be for opening something, or working with something, material or leather. Because I know, because that's weighted. Well, we've discovered it's not lead, it's actually iron. We've run the detector over it and it gives off a grunt. So it might be that it's just a screw, like the other end as well. Okay. So, but then it is weighted, you're right, so, but it fits nicely in the hand, doesn't it? It, so. do, it fits nicely and maybe the weighted, that's the only bit that doesn't, that's unexplainable. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's for working, uh, working some material. Or stabbing someone's eye out. <laughs> yeah, actually. Yeah. It's like a, a Victorian knuckle duster. <laughs> maybe, and I'll just smash them in the face with that. <laughs> Cheers, Helen. There's Chris as well. What's that? But see, I've shown you that, haven't you I? You showed me this oh. on our weekender, but it's a toffee I, hammer. It's a toffee toffee hammer. hammer. It's a, no, I think I agreed. I think it's a, like a nutcrackery type thing. But then, okay, nutcracker. You said it's got a bit of weight in it, a bit of metal in it. Yeah. Maybe a bit of lead, or a gabble, wasn't it? A gabble, maybe. Yeah, a gabble. But yeah. I don't, I don't think a, yeah. a judge would use that. That's a judge or an auctioneer? Way to go. Maybe an auctioneer. I don't know, mate. It's a real. <laughs> I've got no real clues. You're useless. <laughs> Here I am at Detective Hall. All the lovely people camping out there. Here for a good weekend of metal detecting. Let's see if we can get some luck in the muck. So we have another contender to find out what this mystery object is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say what automatically what I think it is okay. without looking at it or thinking I'm just gonna go and think right. right okay cool okay here it is what do you think that is oh my god right that I think is if you've got a hole in your boat you, you put it in <laughs> to stop the leaks oh so like a plug or something yeah. like that yeah could be that is incredible right what do you reckon what do you reckon guy well I reckon that's an auctioneer's gavel yes oh, that's a good shout here we go bang bang sold oh. to the ice bidder. it does have right interestingly right look it does have there's no metal in it oh like, a, like a leddy bit at the top 
So it, it's weighted for some reason. That could be an auctioneer's gavel. There we go. So auctioneer's gavel when we've got a plug for a boat. Right, there we go. Thank you very much, no guys. <laughs> so while we're with Jason, he's found a lovely little denarii. Just so you know what these sort of things come up on these uh, festivals here. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful silver denarii. When you think that, uh, what, do you think it's Constantine? or? I or? think that's probably quite early. I think it's oh, okay. probably oh, second century, something like that. Oh, wow. So, you know. That's a beautiful find. Possibly Antoninus Pius. Got to look at the portrait properly. There might be a little bit of a legend around it, but yeah, um, you know, it's the sort of thing that you know are hard to find now. Yeah, they are. It's not easy. No, you well, you've done well. You've done very yeah, well. Yeah, I'm very pleased with that. You know, <laughs> I love that's... your tin as well. That's incredible. Yeah, I found that on the car boot for ten p. Oh, well, you can't beat that, can you? So, what are golden puffs? I don't know. <laughs> that's another... I don't think I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> another mystery find to, to ID. <laughs> So, just bumped into Ash from LP, just in case you didn't realise, he's fully branded up. Of course. And we want to present, well, I want to present to you this little find. Um, what do you reckon it is? That is an early medieval toffee hammer. <laughs> Good shout. <laughs> yeah, no toffee hammer. No idea. Strange, it looks like it? something out of like a kiddie's play set. Yeah, like a xylophone uh, hammer. Yeah, or something maybe. like that. Is it wood? No, I think it's antler, and I think uh, it's been carved. Uh, to make it look like it's, you know, it's wooden, Wood. but that end has got metal in it. We think it's probably iron. We've, we've run the detector over it. We thought it was lead, so it's a weighted end. Yeah, no. So you're going with, with medieval toffee hammer? <laughs> no idea. <laughs> <laughs> So this is Madison, I just bumped into him. He's a big hovercraft history hunting fan. <laughs> and I just want to show him this find and see what he makes of that. Is that wood or is that? Well, that's we, oh, it's like bone, a metal. It's bone or antler and it's been carved to make look like wood. Wow. Uh, and there's a little thread just inside there, um, which may have been like a little terminal, like it might have had a little, you know, like a finial, like a walking cane type end. Or maybe it was some, some other use. Do we know how old it is? Well, it was found near Victorian bottles, so right, it's probably so it's Victorian. Probably but then, Victorian. you know, it's, it's out on the mud, so it could be any old age. It looks like a little spade, doesn't it? And spade bits <laughs> yeah, come off at the bottom. It does look like a little spade. Because that looks like a little handle. <laughs> or, or is it, is it, you know, judge, when he goes oh, bang, bang. Yeah, you're sentenced. Could it be just like a little version? Yeah, it could be. Do you know what, though? Does fit nicely in your hand, and if it had a pointy bit, could it have been a scriber? Yeah, you oh, know that, what I mean. That, I don't... You know, you, funny you say that. Actually, I've looked, and they, the Victorians did like to mix their artifacts together, so yeah. they would make like gimmick things. Yeah. And I've seen pens, gavel pens. So maybe it was an auctioneer's gavel, but you're right. Maybe there was a pen or a quill yeah. or something that end. Because if you look, it's hollow, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, something went in that end. Yeah, yeah. something went in it, didn't it? It's, yeah. That is, I've never seen anything <laughs> like it. <laughs> Well, I've just met up with John, Martin and Pete. And uh, John here uh, runs a YouTube channel called The Scottish Detectorist. Go and check it out. And I want to show you a Mystery Thames find. And you can decide what you think it is. So when you, you can join in as well. What do you reckon about that? Oof. There's no right or wrong answer. <laughs> mm. There's no prize for winning because I don't know what it is. <laughs> I'd have said maybe a pipe tamper. Pipe tamper. Like yeah, that. we haven't had that one yet. You could poke that end into the tank. You could tap down with that. That's maybe. a good shout. Yeah, that's a very good shout. I'd go with that. What do you reckon? Yeah. Maybe they had a bit of twisty metal on the end as a corkscrew. Corkscrew. There we there go. Corkscrew. Go. <laughs> well, the boys have found a few hammered as well. Thought I'd show you these. So this is Henry VIII. Pierced through the eyeball. Someone didn't like him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you think that Whoa. is Charles? Oh bloody hell! Yeah, Charles definitely. The first, I think. Yeah, take that little one for me. I don't want to drop it. Yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah, that's um, what was it a groat or whatever? Oh, or, it's um, maybe a half crown. Half crown. Or a crown. Yeah, that's awesome because it was on horseback, isn't it? On that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a fantastic find. I'll be chuffed to bits with that. It's a cracker. It Wicked. About half an ounce as well. Yeah. Well, that better gave a banging signal. Yeah, it did. <laughs> Dead goodness. Oh, he was with the first. Wicked. Look, he's found a beautiful Lizzie. That is a beast. Well, why are you all leaving the fields where you found these? I'm <laughs> <laughs> knackered and I need to phone the breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> are you broken down? Sod's law, innit?
Well done, chaps. Well, that's given me some uh, impetus to start looking further and harder. But I'm, there's some stuff out there. So. There are, exactly. <laughs> So this is Ellie and Lucy, the lovely ladies from Roman Found yeah. on Instagram and YouTube. So go and check them out. And I've uh, asked them what they're going to think of my mystery Thames find. Okay, you ready for this? Yeah, yeah. ready for this. Let's okay, it. here it is. It's like a little, what is it, wood or resin? Uh, I believe it's antler that's been oh, carved, oh. carved to make it look like it's wood. That's cool. What do you think, Lucy? Isn't he? Antler's cool. But what is it? I mean, the Thames Mud preserves things so well, doesn't it's, it? It does. It literally could be any age. Yeah. Definitely. Fits Definitely. In, like, fits like that, doesn't it? Yeah, it's, it's yeah, nice. You've uh, got the indents for your fingers and your Ergonomic. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what? <laughs> so it's like a tiny spade? No. Yeah, we've had that, I guess, already, actually. Yeah, a little miniature spade. spade. Little yeah, spade. a little gardening spade like or something. Could be a little hammer. That's yeah. interesting. There's like a um, well spotted, yeah, uh, a little thread. A thread at the end, so mm. something yeah, screwed it. onto it. Exactly. Um, what is that? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, there is. So it's screwed onto something. Oh, maybe like a corkscrew. Corkscrew. Well, yeah. that's another good answer. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, someone might have guessed corkscrew, but uh, we're not too sure what the uh, what it is. So it's, it's a mystery, really. So yeah, something of a, an attachment, or maybe different attachment. Yeah. Well, look, we've had a little bit of luck today as well, haven't you? Look at that. A little bit. There's a bit of trash in there too. <laughs> well, yeah, you found plenty of trash. I mean, I found probably more trash than you. But that, um, that's a, the bag's quite cool. A beautiful uh, denari there. What did you say it was again? I think it's Antony, Antonia's Palace. Oh, wow. That's a, I think they call it a lime, so it's not it's silver. Not proper silver. They like had a oh, funny metal right. they used, didn't they, when they got... Was it when they got... I think they were running low on silver, weren't they? That's what... Stunning. It's that's, really cool. Yeah, something like that. It's nice though. It's beautiful. Well yeah, done. Lovely nice, details. Yeah. I'll, be, I'll be well chuffed with that. Yeah. Well done girls. Who dug it up? Who found it? Because well, you sharing I, one I, detector? Yeah we do. Yeah. So I find the targets. Oh yeah. Ellie digs and I film. Cool. So nice little combo. Yeah, a bit of a combo. Yeah. Well for Excellent. Us. It works well for us. I don't want to do the swinging. <laughs> 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 Sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> so Julian from the Treasure Hunter magazine has decided that this is probably a cheese cora. So until anyone comes up with a better idea than that, then that is the answer that we hope it's going to be. But yeah, well done, Julian. <laughs> Chris, what are you doing with my helmet? Oh, are you filming? <laughs> I'm now. I, I found this earlier. A little, uh, a little miniature World War Two helmet. A little bit. Sometimes this one likes to be a butcher. <laughs> Sometimes this one's a florist. This one's a soldier. And we talk to each other all day long. Oh, yeah. oh he's got a detector. We've dropped it. Chris, while we were messing around waiting to talk to these guys about a manticore, which is so a new detector. Rummaging around in his sack. I want you to think, right, this is a mystery find, all right? Look at me. Or look at look Sorry. At me. <laughs> I'm looking at your sack. What do you think that is? That's a hammer. Uh, it's got an X on the end. Well, no, a Y and a Y. It's a, it feels like a hammer of some sort. Is it like a gavel? A gavel. A gavel. Could be, couldn't it? Yeah, like for a dwarf. A little dwarf gavel. What do you reckon that is? Gavel. <coughs> I think it's a gavel. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. What do you reckon? Hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> it does have. It's nice. metal, isn't it? Oh, it's metal. It is. It's a, yeah, it's what it is. Well, oh, maybe not. Spoke to Julian, Treasure Hunter yeah. magazine, and he he thinks, and I'll be pretty sure it is, a cheese cora. So what? A cheese cora. When you when you sample cheese in France yeah. or wherever, you'd use something like that to get the core of the cheese out, so you can see if it's oh, that's set. Boring. <laughs> I thought it'd send people to their death. It's, all right, it's way more exciting. It's, Bam! It's, it's, get to the gallows, you bugger! All right, it's, it's Action Man Thor's hammer. <laughs> yeah, I'm not Thor. I'm just looking at Thor. <laughs> So this is Andrew, yes. and uh, we've just shown him the little hammer thingy. And um, one hundred percent, this is a bamboo Japanese hammer for pegging in the. I think it's called the manuki. 
and it's the little peg that goes into the handle of a Japanese saw. Wow. You tap it in and then you have a... And that's 100%? 100%. And this, this should have a, a little, almost like a point on the end, and you use that for pushing it, pushing the peg through no from way. the other side. That would be amazing. Well, made from bamboo. And if you look at it, it's got a fair amount of weight. As, as an alternative view, we were told that this was a um, cheese corer. No, it's got no hole in the middle. You can't use it. A no, cheese core has is but, hollow. But it would have been. Yes, it would have had. No, would it, have, would it, it wouldn't have had a, a, no, an adaptive. A cheese core, because I also am a chef, and so, I know a lot about cheese. There you go. They're wrong. I will tell you now. A cheese core. A, a cheese core pulls out a core about that diamond. Right. Okay. And you push it in, turn it, and you pull it out, and it comes. Yeah. But it's nothing like that. One hundred percent. That's for a Japanese sword. Well, thank you so much, Andrew. You're a wealth of knowledge. I really appreciate it. <laughs> so there we have it. Is it a hammer for a Japanese sword or a cheese corer? If you've got any thoughts, theories, or even better, a link to a comparable object, I'd love to hear them. Even though it's not that old, I will take it to the museum and let them take a butcher's. If you enjoyed this episode, it will help me if you give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and best of all, watch another Mudlarkin Mud Adventure by clicking this here thumbnail. To play us out, here's Nelly enjoying his new bowl and his biscuits. <laughs> See you soon, mud lovers.